I watched this speech you gave, this BFI diversity mm -hmm, speech mm -hmm, that you gave. Mm -hmm. But you told a story that you had found, mm -hmm. uh, the Bill Richmond story, the right. bare knuckle boxer in the mid 1800s. Yes. Just to summarize, you wrote a 30 page treatment about this guy's story and you thought it was a great piece of history mm. and you went around to try to get it set up. Tell me what you came away with from that situation that, that sort of made you realize that you weren't going to be able to make the kind of stories you wanted to make in the UK. I had done a show that was called Spooks in the UK. It's called MI5 when it was shown here and it was a huge show, a spy show and I was one of the three main characters. Right. And it had the kind of success that traditionally suggested that it should be a platform, a launching pad. Now, not wanting to be someone who purely relies on that, I go, you know what, let me not wait, let me develop something that the people who are constantly telling me, we, we've got to find something to do with you. And okay, let me not hope that some writer somewhere is writing something I'm going to be grateful. Let me go do it myself, which I did. And I worked very hard on this treatment. But what kept on coming back and one particular instance, what a very high profile program maker said was that the, f the story was so unfamiliar that to make it would be challenging. Fascinating, well put together, but we don't know that it's not Dickens, it's not Austin, it doesn't have what they described as an element of treat about it. Their notion of a treat for the audience was basically McDonald's. You know, I know what it tastes like, I've had it before, it makes me feel yummy for a moment, let's do that again. That has its value. But to tell me that a fascinating part of British history that has black people in the center of it doing extraordinary things. We're talking 60 round boxing matches. 60 rounds. 60 rounds. You know, it, it, the most fascinating story. And the reason you're going to give me for not making that is because you don't know it. Well, there's nowhere for me to go from there because I think the reason to make it is because there's this fascinating piece of British history and we can go tell that story and people can go, whoa, that's, that happened here, that's our history as well. And if you're now telling me that my stories are of less value because they've never been told and therefore are never going to get told, then I am either going to die on the vine or have to plant my seed in different ground.